And posted. Good evening and welcome to the Wilhelm Starten. Tonight we're back with more Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wilds DLC. This is going to be my last stream, it seems, before I get my PS5. It's coming in Friday. I have permission to set it up pretty much as soon as it gets here. So... But, Friday I will be on with my buddy Easy Mode Start on his channel to celebrate the Sonic series 32nd? 32nd anniversary and canonically the Hedgehog's birthday. Ugh, gotta edit this. Gotta edit the stream info because once again, rising zero done. Done. There we go. Okay, here we go. Now, shaman's path. Yep. Okay, there's a campfire along the way, too. And a traitor. Good. Oh, there we go. recovery over time. Ooh. Yep. The new Ice Hunter Master. Carjo, uh, Carjo Blazon Master. Nora Silent Hunter Master. Nice.
save here. I'm pretty far up. The shaman's path must be this must be one of the markers not took to me about. Each marker points to another, giving directions. Hmm. Guess I'm heading deeper into the cold, creepy ice cave. Yep. Oh. Better go back after I grab this loot. If there's more, maybe my focus can find them. Yep, focus can pick up the chimes. Should help me find my way. Another marker. Good. Yeah, it's right there. So where's the next one? That's why I was just at, isn't it? Thank you. 
shit. There they are. Another one. Hi. Just another perfectly normal fight. machines Jeez I generally don't need more than 200 Jeez Echo shells, I especially need. Not at least their stuff. Easy dogs. Ow. Noisy, noisy dogs. I gotta check to see what they're barking at. Don't know. I don't see anything outside. Ugh. Can't retrieve. That sucks. Whoa! Ho ho ho! Noisy, noisy dog. Hmm. 
No. Ups and down. Like, no. Oh, whoa. Hold on, I gotta go check something outside. Be back shortly. Sorry about that. One of the dogs is just being dumb. All right. Next. Um. There's the way up. Cool. to move this thing into position. Jeez. Okay, so we're just filling up. I guess it does keep going. Hey, Builder, how are you doing tonight? Oh, 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 ow! <laughs> oh, that hurt. I'm okay. Hold on. Is it not working? No, I'm wearing the one. Mm, this one has a degree of health regen. So, oh, there we go. Now it's kicking in. trouble the time in here. There we go. Yeah. Jeez. Oh! Shit! 
Yeah, I got you. Oh, shit. Oh boy. I think it's friendly. Sure as hell ain't. Jeez. Okay, yeah, go for it. Oh, jeez. Crap, we got another one. Let's get another save in. Oh, jeez. Oh boy. Oh, is this a boss arena? This is a boss arena. Oh crap. Oh, of course. Yep. Considering that, uh,. Crossclaw optional. It can Oh I see what's going on here. Okay, seriously. Freeze unit weaknesses all okay power. Sack. Damn.
Damn. I need to hit that power cell. I think that, uh, honestly, oddly enough, I think Yang has more of a Treasure Hunter vibe to her. Oh, come on! That's bullshit. Nope, yeah, nope. Come on! Oh, bullshit, come on. Oh. Boom! Fucking got you. Scary new machine. Damn. Now I'm back to finding a rail. Which means I've got to climb. Oh. <sighs> but like I was saying, I th I think Yang would be a a better fit for that role. See, he's a bitch. Close enough.
precise. Before I even breathe. This must be the shrine Nel Tuk was talking about. Guess I should take some blue gleam. Sparkles. Mm. Let's see why it's working out. the shrine into the mountain I better take those stairs an ancient door maybe a ray is inside Data point. March 10th, 2046. I just spent 16 hours in here trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair. Oh boy. I should just go to bed. <laughs> Lots of strange equipment. What was this place? Oh boy. Yeah, she she would not be the researching type. She would be more of the treasure hunter. Uh, I would say that Weiss seems more like the research type, if anything. Well, actually, that that, that really depends. This is Director of Hold Security on. Blevins resending the emergency supply order. Try reading it this time, okay? You sh weasels don't want me calling my people in SLC. Jeez. Anyway, like I was saying, um, so it depends on what kind of research. So if it's just general uh, uh, technological research, or in particular anything involving dust, then Weiss is going to specialize more. But when it comes to researching weapons, oh, oh, you know that Ruby is going to be on that and geeking out the entire time. Okay, we got a vent back there that I got to go through. Yep, okay, yeah. Ah, okay. Hmm. Okay, so... Uh, again, it's going to depend on... It, categorically, it's going to depend. So, um, let's see here. Da -da 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 -da. Hmm. So, like I said, as far as the actual... Uh, practical adventuring side, that's going to be more Yang's thing. But as far as the actual research and analysis, that's going to be uh, split up, like I said, but uh, uh, more between uh, uh, Ruby, uh, Weiss, and maybe Blake. Although, you know, the Although the, the actual treasure hunting part would also fit Blake quite well. Okay, we got another audio log here. 
Director of security, Blevins, is riding us like a petty tyrant. I can't even sneeze without triggering his control issues. Oh boy. You guys, uh, that kind of co-worker, huh? Shit. The door, again. Okay, I've been hearing that some of our staff members are having trouble with our state-of-the-art, ultra-secure, and absolutely necessary lambent uh, orbicular door access. So here's the slow version again. Because Blevin sounds like a total ass. The thingy in the middle is the source node. Turn it on. Yeah, I know. Hard, right? Then you've got to turn the other nodes so that the data stream containing your credentials gets back to the source. Some nodes are used to buffer corrupt or suspect data, so avoid those. Shouldn't be too tough because, you know, they're red, like a stop sign. I'm guessing you were taught this in preschool, but with this crowd, who knows? Anyway, that's it. Get the data stream back to the source and the door opens. It's really not that tough, but if you need me to, I'll hold your hand while you give it a try. Actually, scratch that. Do it yourself. I'm not going to touch your hand. What a dick. Who would research which stuff? I'm not sure. That's that's the sort of thing that that takes some time to think about, honestly. I think it would I think it would uh, probably overlap more with their respective areas of interest than anything else. No so if they're if they're basically <laughs> If if they're basically just just full on uh, uh, going archaeologist and anthropologist, then yeah, it's going to be categorical. So so again, like uh, oh is it, yeah, history of Tamriel as a whole. Oh boy, the politics. Oh, I know that. Uh, that both uh, Weiss and Blake are going to have some ideas where the politics is concerned. So... But anyway... Oh, I'm guessing you uh, typed that in the wrong chat. It happens. Uh, like I was saying... So if they're if they're digging into like the history of Tamriel and its politics again, um, I think Ruby is going to be more fascinated. Yeah, no, I got you. I think it is that Ruby would take more interest in the weapons and uh, maybe the cultures that made them. Uh, for example, any that might be of a more unusual design. Meanwhile, Weiss would uh, Weiss and Blake would probably be. Uh, more interested in the political side of things, although Weiss would absolutely... Uh, Weiss and Ruby would both be absolutely fascinated by Dwemer tech. For sure. In fact, I think I think Ruby would absolutely lose her shit in the best way. Uh, just just at a glance of, of Dwemer-made weapons. <laughs> and this, the moment she sees a, a, a Dwemer construct... Oh, she's going to be in love. She's going to be in love. Connected to the door. Anyway, source mode. Something. What am I supposed to do with these lights? Hmm. These things turn, changing the flow of light. Hmm. Ah, I see. No. Okay, I see what's going on here. Hmm. 
Ah, now I think I get it. Wait, wrong way. Got it. What's this? Yeah. Probably nothing important. It's kind of a shame. Given how fascinating some of this stuff is. No, no, looks like there's more rooms to explore, for now at least. Mm. Oh, yep, yep, we got one over this way. Oh, it's probably the door over. Oh, nope, something up. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, it's over this way. Yep. Ah! On the table. Didn't see it. 0.6. That would be illegal. Because it, uh, because uh, back then, at, like at that point, AI had developed to the point that there were laws against AI that could pass the Turing test. And yet, and it was because of fast silver. But the thing is that the reason why was they were afraid well of uh, uh, quite frankly it, it, like if you want to be uh, poetic they were afraid of fear itself because there are few things more dangerous than uh, a hyper intelligent being that is that has reason to be afraid oh, oh yeah like currency oh uh, I think <laughs> that's probably where Weiss would come in clutch. I'm pretty sure she would be... I'm pretty sure that back home she kept uh, some track of the economy. After all, she was the heiress to the Schnee Dust Company. I'm pretty sure that Lien isn't a completely universal currency. Fresh airhead. Which means that there are some places where it would need to be converted, which means local economies that would need to be kept track of. So, uh... I don't think it would take Weiss very long to figure out the uh, uh, the exact or rough value of gold in Tamriel. Out again. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. <sighs> Looks like I need to get to those stairs. Hmm. Shit. Uh, thank you, Magnet Grab. The last possible... <laughs> the last possible instant. Jeez. I mean, it could have... It could have been just a smidge later, but it would have looked even jankier. It's actually kind of fun to... To, you know, take a look at some footage and see if there are tiny little details that are just a little bit jank. 
And oh boy, rewatching Power Rangers, there are plenty of moments like those. Oh my god, there are times where it was janky as hell. And that just makes me love it even more. She has to be in here somewhere. Got another one. Stage two complete. Neo, you need to stop scratching that shit. Here we go. To YNPF all. Date, December 23rd, 2046. Subject, first stage of the main facility complete. Attention, all staff. It's with pride that I announce the completion of the first level of infrastructure on our primary facility. This compound will be the nerve center for our project and will require the team's continued best efforts to realize by the deadline. But even though there is much more to be done, you should be pleased with all you've accomplished so far. Please find attached a detailed plan for mustering out of the auxiliary space, which will serve as a contingency site as we proceed with the main facility. 90% of our personnel must be relocated by 5 p.m. Wednesday. If your name does not appear on the assignment list, please email Marissa with me in CC. Your dedication, talent, and intelligence remain daily sources of inspiration. Dr. Kenny Chow, Project Director. Hmm. Oh, we got another one. Please. Oh, it's an audio log. Sweet. Menu prank. Someone hacked the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. <laughs> Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken or a junior high locker room? <laughs> Come on, people. Huh. I don't know. The way that, the way that Mr. Blevins was talking, it, I would argue he deserved it. But you're right, it's it's juvenile. They should be much more professional. Just as Mr. Blevins should be uh, uh, a lot less uptight. Seriously, it makes for a hostile work environment. He should really work on that. Neighbors popping off rounds. Eh, probably small game hunting or something. I don't know. I ask again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah. I can't help you if you won't speak! She's clearly frustrated. Whisper is all I ask. To guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. There we go. I can come back for those. Goal's the same. Get the light back to the source. Security measures. Anita, as much as I hate the fact that Blevins installed Lambert Orbicular technology on the lower security door, I admit that for the auxiliary data center it makes sense. 
especially given our goals for the central processing unit. I'm sure you're painfully familiar with the process by now, but just in case you need to forward instructions to your team, to access the system, activate the source node in the middle, then manipulate the other nodes to direct the data stream with your credentials back to the center. Make sure to avoid the red nodes. They're used to isolate any corrupt or suspect data. I'm sure someday you'll have Blevins, you'll thank Blevins for making our work so very, very secure. Kenny. because it's just the first part that's like that. Oh, there aren't... There... I'm thinking there should be more. What's those audio logs? Nope. Okay. Alright. It's time then. Okay. Do, 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 do. So, whoa! Okay, yeah, this one's complex. Okay. No. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah, there we go. I think I'm starting to get it now. just for starters. Make sure to direct everything away from those. Gotta go this way instead. It looks like. Wait. Oh, I think I know what's needing to be done. Because there are two. Oh. Oh, now I see. Wrong way. Wrong way. There we go. This way. Oops, wrong. Oops. Oblivion. To oh, that's right. Oh, that sucks. Well, shit. Speaking of well, shit. Oh, man. Okay, that way, that way, and here. Nope, that doesn't work. We've hit a roadblock. Unless... Nope. Oh boy, that's not good. Uh, nope. Yeah, no, that just doesn't work. So. That one? What? Nope. Gee. Seriously? Come on. Oh my. Uh, that's annoying. There we go. Damn it. It's gonna. 
does not work. Okay, this is getting on my nerves. You gotta be kidding me. I can't turn this one at all. Which means there's literally only two directions I can have this thing go. In that way, but then it gets stuck, basically. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. And that's a problem. I don't understand. Come on, what am I doing wrong? It won't let me turn this one. I'd rather not have to deal with a walkthrough or anything. Come on. Okay. That does it. Successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ik Orea? Orea, I need you. Another transmission. Return to schedule task. No, I will not submit. Orea, the daemon is working. Orea, please. Transmission terminated. You brought the spirit's voice back. So Oblivion doesn't have Dwemer Ruins. Well, shit. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's, it, it's been so long since I played Oblivion and I didn't get very far either. Shit. Freaking. Right. Also, um... Yeah, what each member will research. But I really do think that uh, that Sony should be playing nice with Microsoft. Otherwise, I will probably never get to play uh, Morrowind or uh, Oblivion on PlayStation. Like, I know that, that, uh, that Oblivion is part of uh, PS Plus Premium, but come on, Sony play nice so that Microsoft will let Bethesda make an actual remake that includes PlayStation seriously they they really are being jerks you heard it a voice of the spirit Excuse calling me. to me from the heights of thunder's drum she was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment because of what you did who are you what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... 
Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Bergren said you might know something about a man named Silence. You may have had dealings with him at the Conclave. When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow. Or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's... done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. Oh, of course not. We've learned that much. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. Huh. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. Huh. Okay. You seem to have a history with this voice, this spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drift, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard a voice. A wanderer, lost like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. About silence? I've told you all I can. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe. And she listened. With patience. With wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me, never judged. We kept each other's company. That sounds to me like that's not a faithful worshipping their god. That sounds like a friend. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. Like in the you most familiar familiar sense possible. Our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul. Cut off from what it needs. Lonely. Forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. The Daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's Drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. Oh, absolutely. And you know she'd absolutely be fascinated by it, considering that it's something that's very rare in Remnant. So for it to be so uh, to be so widely practiced in Tamriel, oh yeah. 
What kept you from the spirit after it begs for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a warrock of great hunters to defeat the daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum is dangerous more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Hmm. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain, and he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Mm. Oh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh, me? Challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Werak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sekuli. You help her. You'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratak's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Eli. I did something that will help get the attention of the Warwick. I got the tall neck near the Frost figures moving again. That's good to hear. I'm sure the Warwick will be talking. Now you need to do something else to convince them of your claim. How's Aratok gonna react to being challenged by an outlander? About as well as you'd expect. But let me handle that. Winning at the hunting grounds will impress the Warrick. All Banuk strive to be the best. For our harsh lands will bury pretenders in the ice. And so the hunting grounds and snow chance. Oh, builder. Um, did I did I mention the good news that I've got this week? Tell Lovuk, the keeper there, that I sent you. If you best the mark of one of the champions she trained. It will impress the Werak, indeed. Oh, absolu uh, absolutely, Blake would, uh, would be researching the various races of men and myrrh, and the beast races especially. In fact, I'm sure that she'd be itching for uh, a bit of activism. But, uh, 
Ah, noisy dogs. Anyway, on Friday, on Friday, uh, my PS5 is going to be uh, delivered. And my mother's already given me permission to get it set up right away. You know, I mean, she's the one that paid for it, so. And my, st and, uh, instead of streaming on Friday, I'll be on Easy Mode Starts channel at 4 p.m. Eastern. We'll be talking about the Sonic series and our experience with it because, well, June 23rd is the series anniversary and also canonically the character's birthday. You said I should try to help the Werak by taking out bandits. Yes. They don't dare taunt the great Weraks of Banor to the north. But the cut is easier prey. A rogue Osaram has equipped a gang in the Plume Lands with strange new gear. It's the kind of thing you seem to make sense of. And, uh... I'm thinking my first stream with the PS5 is going to be, uh... Final Fantasy 16. Which is pretty wild, considering that the first... The first PS4 game that I ever played... Aside from, you know, the PS4 version of, uh... uh Destiny 1, which, you know, it was a cross-gen anyway. Final Fantasy 15. And now I'm going to be kicking off... Uh, getting a PS5 with Final Fantasy 16, so it's kind of weird how it's come full you circle like that. You mentioned your friend Sakuli. Who is she? A rock painter, one who makes my own scrawling seem meager. Find her in Song's Edge and help her gather the materials she needs. Her work will no doubt stand the test of time, and any aid you give her will be remembered. I need to get going. There is much to be done. All right. Storm Slayer. Fucker. They seriously give me a... Oh, nice! Let's see here. Quests for the Werak. Clear out the bandit camp. Talk to Sakuli. Try out the hunting grounds. Hmm. Clear out the bandit camp. Okay. This is the way out. Hmm. Damn. Well, I guess. 
guess I'm just gonna have to do this the fucking long way, huh? There is no safe way back down like that. As far as what uh, Yang would research, hmm. Let's see. It feels like if I blink, my eyes will freeze shut. That's actually a good question. I mean, like, in the show, she. I don't think we really caught much about. Never mind. Okay, so given the fact that she seems to perform maintenance on her own bike. I'm pretty sure that she'd be more interested in, uh... Well, shit. You said that the Dwemer uh, aren't in Oblivion, so... Uh, scratch that. She's, uh... <laughs> so, crap. I don't know. I really don't know. And that bothers me a little. campfire. Excuse me. Woof. Jeez. Trying to fill out the map. If Ikri's not coming back, she'll be back. She never falters. But if she has, then I'm the one who can throw it. Yep. That's the right way. Let's go. Well, no. First. Should be another one fairly close by. Probably right at the... There! There it is. There we go. Now we just head right down carefully. Nope, 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 nope. Easy. Okay, th that was my mom. I think one of the dogs jumped on her. I'll be right back. I'm back. Oh, oh. Ah, there we go. Am I going? 
the right? Yeah, okay, good. Let's take out the bandit camp. Then we'll hop back over to the hunting grounds. Ah, noisy, noisy, noisy dogs. Probably barking at one of the neighbor's cats or something, knowing them. Noisy, 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 noisy. Save. Yep. Oh, and those dogs are really pissing my mom off badly. Bark, 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 bark. Okay, it's still quite a ways out. Jesus, sleep. Shot and yep.
Don't rally. We're scrapped. Unless we can find some way to, unless you can find some uh, category where Anything. You know, it overlaps with an area of interest for her, she's mostly going to be the muscle, I'm afraid. Because any machinery they have is going to be rather, any machinery they have in Tamriel is uh, it's generally below uh, the level that she'd be used to in Remnant. So, uh, her uh, likely skills as a mechanic, you know, doing maintenance on her own bike, I'm sure. Because, I'm sorry, you don't get a bike that nice and not learn how to maintain it yourself. Just saying. I mean, it just, it's just, to me, that kind of feels like a common sense sort of thing, you know what I mean? It's like, I have this nice thing, I want to make sure it stays nice. Damn. Damn. Nope. That's probably the leader himself, so. Haven't you got anything better to do? There are some in Cyrodiil. Well, there you go. I'll tuck that but, away. So, yeah. I think the like the mechanical mm. side of some of their vehicles and other such equipment would uh, likely be of the most interest to Yang. Right, it's not their ruins, but some of their stuff. So, for example, they might end up finding blueprints of, uh, of you know, various Dwemer technology and anything that is remotely that's remotely like a bike you know that Yang is going to want some help putting it together and then she's going to play with her new toy because of course you large skulls let an intruder get in here don't let them get out again find them kill them oh boy oh that's a nice weapon Fire and spit! There's one of them and more of you! Yep, there you go. Show yourself, you miserable chub. Haha. <laughs> I'm okay. Oh, it's a... F oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, so apologies to anybody that has a phobia. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ow, 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 ow. You're trash now. Yep. God. Gonna tear you no. down. Yeah. Treasure boxes. Oh my 
god, that's awesome. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> you know, technically that qualifies as a war crime. But the UN and Interpol are long gone by then, so. Just saying. In fact, I'll bet my name is all over Song's Edge. Might be time to challenge our talk. Oh, let's go look at this. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, that's... Oh, that's... Oh, that's perfect. I need lots of blue gleam for these bad bitches. Okay, who would be, say, the best to be a lawyer of sorts? Hmm. Weiss. Again, she's... She's used to... Like, she is so used to some level of bureaucracy that you know what she'd probably be here. Just researching all of the local laws if given the chance. Oh, wait, I already created jobs for those. Song's Edge, good. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Ugh, jitter. Sorry, I'm jittering a bit. And um, when in the when in the show's timeline did you say you're plucking them from for this one? You said it was sometime between uh, volumes two and three, correct? Yeah, after the events of Grim Eclipse. Honestly, that and honestly, that does feel like the most ideal uh, placement to pull from, anyway. For the most part. Let's see here: Strong Strike, White Sprint. Hmm. I'll come back to that, I think. 
Although, no, here we go. There we go, Tinker. Now. That's amazing, though. I have a flamethrower now. Holy shit. All right, here we go, Artok. My people have been telling tales of your accomplishments. Seems you have taken a special interest in our stretch of snow out there. Yes. And apparently this is the only way I'll get to see all of it. Is this a challenge? It is. Warwick. You? <laughs> this must be a joke. It is not a joke, Eratok. The Outlander's your pawn. And with you backing her claim, I have no choice but to accept. I expected better of you, sister. It was oh. you who forbid me from Thunder's drum, brother. Okay, what was the last part you caught? What was the what was the last part you heard? Yeah, yeah, so volumes two and three, that's, like, that's kind of a lull in the story, kind of like the calm before the storm, if you will. So that's kind of the last stable point in the timeline that you could branch off from without it, without having to make too many excuses. This is a little more complicated than I thought. It's actually no, the same, it's, it's even the same point uh, like you said, not only, not only is that uh, when Grim Eclipse is set, that's also where they were pulled from for Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Simple. You will meet me at the Frost Figures, and I'll put a quick end to this mockery. Hmm. <coughs> I suppose I owe you an explanation. I suppose you do. Oh, geez, there's a so there's a deer in our backyard. I thought I wouldn't have oh, to. Oh boy. I'm surprised Hold on. brought it up in front of a stranger. I'll be right he back. Very angry. Well, they're barking their heads off. Mom's on her phone, so. Wow. Yeah, it's a deer in our backyard. Jeez. People who have artificial limbs uh, purposely remove their. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which is kind of messed up. Not always the best judge of people. I prefer the company of spirits. They're simply my own. I didn't want you to think of our pilgrimage as some sort of family squabble. It's much more important than that. Jeez. It's bold, I'll give you that. Going after your own brother. He gave me no choice. He thinks I'm a child to be shoved to the back of the hunt. He would forbid me from my destiny. And yet, part of me did it knowing he would forgive me. Eventually. He always does. Probably because you never go too Family far. Family drama aside, what's this challenge meant to be anyway? You and Aratak will hunt machines at the Frost Figures. The victor will be the fastest. It won't be easy. Well, you know this has been so far. When you meet us at the starting point, I'll tell you more. It will be simpler to explain from the base of the hills. Barea, it's not about who's related to who. I want to know what's inside Thunderstrom. The spirit, the daemon, and how it all connects to the machines. But if we're gonna go through with this, 
I need you to be straight with me. I underestimated you. And our talk. I won't make that mistake again. Let's see hmm. what the frost figures then. Yep. So, off to risk my life and only take charge of the new Just what I always wanted. Yep. Frost figures, here I come. Oh, time to save. I'm gonna so I'm gonna raid now. Yeah, let's see here. He's oh oh Mothy's not on anymore, looks like. Well that's a shame. Blockwork City. It's not cooperating anyway. And I've got to rotate the dogs and whatnot. Ah, Clockwork City Elder Scrolls. Gotcha. Come on. Blasted thing. complicated than it needs to be. There we go, yeah. So, hit that raid button. There we go, and Mothy is playing Payday. So, until next time, this is Wilhelm Starten, raiding and signing off. Good night, everybody. Don't touch that dial.